Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is two days until Christmas. No, oh, it says free. It says free on the worst Santa in the world. <laughs> It is two days until Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> we are joined start. on the final Squabbler Show and Advent Calendar of FIFA 21 on my channel by none other than Bateson. How you doing, mate? I'm doing very well. Yeah, very, very... Not, I'm not very festive this year. I remember last year I wore the Greg's Christmas jumper. Have you not got a Christmas jumper on? No, I'm not. I'm just going nowhere near Christmas. I don't know. It's a weird year, isn't it? It doesn't really feel Christmassy. It's outrageous. Un until you go into a supermarket. Have you at least got a pair of Christmas pyjamas draped over your shoulder like Oakley Fish? No. Well, I do have some for Christmas Day, but because Natalie won't let me have them, we've got to wait till uh, the Christmas morning until the whole family has matching like, pyjamas. Oh, God. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, uh, no. <laughs> it's a, it's a, yeah, wait, wait, till, wait till you get older, Andy, and it'll happen to you, my friend. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, I am Christmassy enough for the both of us, I guess. Christmas Literally Santa background. Claus. Yeah, Christmas background. Santa's here. I'm this. I'm gonna be coming down this tonight. Wait, is that a fake fireplace? It's a real fireplace. Is it? It's no, a it mate. That's roasted. No, that book. That book's going into it. Andy's trying to fake me here, guys. He's what to, book? Trying to pull one over. What do you mean? I've literally got the countdown to Christmas on the fa on the. Mantelpiece? There is, there, wait, wait, there is no chance that's a real fireplace because imagine streaming in a room with a fireplace. Oh, I could never. And you could never have thought, oh, wait there, it's, is it green screen? Nah, look. Damn, he's pulling out all the magic tricks on Christmas Eve. Nah, look, that's a, it's 100% all, it's all real. See? Mm, I'll take and the I'll fire's take. real as well. I had to get a gas engineer to put that in. Yeah, it looks good. I can't tell what magic you pulled off it either. I love it. It looks, it looks tidy. I'm glad you enjoy it. Yeah. it. Did take a while to set up. No, there's me just whacking metal posts on the wall and hoping it does the best. You haven't even got a Christmas jumper, and I've had my room literally redesigned with an interior design. I, I have got a fantastic special. jersey on there. If that makes what is sense. It? It's the Ajax second jersey. It's one of the nicest ones this year. Okay. Okay. It could have been Liverpool, Andy. I'm glad it's not. Yeah. <laughs> top of the league. Are you a Miles storming away at the top of the table for Christmas? It's kind of outrageous. But Everton are in a Champions League spot for Christmas. Uh, your tone's changed, hasn't it, since two months ago? <laughs> hey, <laughs> I, I think on. all of the Everton fans' tone's changed. Oh, this is a Champions League spot. We, we were never actually going to win the league. Well, you, hey, you never know. Everyone said that when Leicester started storming through, didn't they? Nah. I've said from the start that Liverpool are going to win the league, but it was funny when everyone was saying Everton were going to win the league. And when we like, took over the charts and stuff like that, it was pretty good. Yeah, there is a team making a charge, and I didn't even realise how close they actually were to Liverpool. United. United? I don't yeah. like that United are good. That's like the worst Christmas present ever, I'm going to be honest. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't think they were good. But obviously the league table shows completely different. They must be uh, getting results without even realising. Yeah. So... Interesting yeah, one. Very yeah. interesting one. Another interesting one, a very un-Christmassy thing that we've got to do Scobbler Shadow on today, is a special Adama Traore. Well, it's not really anti-Christmas, is it? Because he, At least he's not a striker. That would have ruined Christmas. Uh, Adama in a pear tree. Like, see, look at that. I just come off the top of my head. Totally haven't stole that from your Facebook chat. You got it wrong as well. Did I? No, that's what someone put, so that's what I'm sticking with. No, because I my pun is Adama Triore for a Christmas tree. Ooh. And they said a partridge in a pear triore. Yeah. They just stole my pun and then you've just Well well what we should do instead is throw it to the to the uh, Facebook comments and see if they can come up with a better pun. No, they can't. Those are all terrible, this. but the YouTube comments yeah, might they, be able they, to help. Yeah, the, yeah, you, someone someone's gotta save this because we've been Adama here for like twenty minutes trying to figure that triore. out. Triore. That's it's not one of my no, best. No, no, we're doing it that early as well. No dynamic image. Which for me is a big thing. Makes them worth like an extra 100k to you, doesn't it? Yeah, literally, yeah. It's literally, but that's like 1,500 coins for the rest of us. I, I, I so. should have just kept Mendy in for the weekend league, but I was like, nah, I'll try him out, even though he hasn't got it. So, But he's have a you good seen player. That thing? Have you seen that thing where, what's the least amount of money you would stop for if you seen it on the pavement? What, this Treyari? Yeah. Or how much money I would no, stop I, I'm for. No, I'm going a little bit off on one because I'm not going to find how many coins you've got. So, 
If the least amount of money you would stop for on the pavement is, let's say, a 20p. No, it isn't. But is it more? What, what would it be? If you send a 50p just off to the side and you're walking along, would you stop and pick a 50p up? No, but I can tell you as to why I'm going to say no, and I Go wouldn't on. even do a pound. You wouldn't do a I pound? Would, I would if do a pound, pound on the floor, you wouldn't pick no, it no, up. No, 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 but there's a, there's a reason why. You got like 10, 10 p mixes for that. No, so back in the day, I'm from Ken, from Kendall, if you guys don't know. I've got a high street, right? And people would be... They used to glue them down. Oh, they used to glue them down. They used to glue down 50 p's, <laughs> quids, and 20 p's. And you'd be there kicking it, trying to get it off, and then you just look like an idiot, didn't you? So now, <laughs> I don't do anything unless it's note form. You've been scarred for <laughs> that, life. That, that sounds very snobby, but I've been burned too many times by the glue glue coin trick. Okay, well... And I'm sure we got some nasty people in your... Uh, in your comments, who will probably be doing the same thing. Oh, I'm going to go walk around town with some super glue and stick coins <laughs> to the floor. It's a good watch, to be honest. Yeah, you st sit on a bench across the road and watch people try and yeah. pick it up. Yeah, it's a good one until you're the, uh, the person kicking the coin and trying to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> but, for argument's sake, let's say it's 20p. Yeah. For the equivalent amount of, like, money, for Bill Gates to stop, it'd have to be 45 grand on the floor. Scaled up to how much money Bill Gates has got. That's and that's crazy. basically like my club, my FIFA club, and your FIFA club. Yeah, yeah. My my, my FIFA club's in a bit of a. Isn't, the club itself isn't in the mud. The coin balance has been hit hard by prime icons. What have you got? Like twenty six mil, something like that. Twenty two mil. But that goes. But that goes very. very <laughs> it sounds. That even that sounds bad. But like, the, it's team of the year around the corner, and we know that's not going to be enough for team, every team of the year player, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to get absolutely destroyed. I'm going to get absolutely battered on the last score of the show and have Calder on my channel. Even worse, actually, I forgot to do a Christmas joke yesterday. And I haven't drawn a new picture on my whiteboard today. I've, you're going to have to let me off. I'm literally dressed up as Santa. So you can let me off with the picture. And I'm going to write down a formation. Apparently, these gloves are very slippy. I've just thrown my pen on the floor. And we'll see whether we can get you... I can't give you three at the back. No, even though there are some psychos which are playing this card as a centre back, but they could get away with Lewandowski at the back. Let's yeah, I'm go. not sure I'd do that. Five foot ten, high high work rate. He has got ninety six pace. I mean, I guess anyone with loads of pace is good at centre back as long as they're on chem. Huang Ki Chan is not, even though he's got pace. He's only got twenty defending. But what formation would you like to blame him, Bates? I have just wrote down mine. It is 442 flat. Oh no, 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 I've got it wrong, guys. I've not been on in a long time. Right, 442 flat, Andy. That's why I brought down. That's what you guessed for me? Yeah, no, 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 no. I've just realised what I'm doing. Yeah, I need to rub that out. Look, I've got okay. some wipes here. This is right, like so the I... last time with Tom, where we had to do the intro twice because he forgot to record, and then we had all sorts of mind games with the formations. Right, 442 flat is what I want, Andy. That's what you want? Yeah. Okay, you can have it. I put 4321. Yes. So that's right, not I'm what gonna you gonna wrote down for me? No, no, no. I'm writing a new one down for you. Okay, good. Unless you're trying to get him ahead and you've wrote down 442 flat as well. I, no, uh, I wrote down 4321 for you. I'm going to tell you what I want myself. Okay. All right, I've wrote down yours. Who would you I'll like, Andy? Four, what, what? Triple two. Yeah, you can have that as well. GG's. Lovely. Lovely. All right, so that was the most erratic, chaotic, and mental intro. However, I'm very excited for the last couple of showdowns. The next one will be over on Beta's channel. Go and check it out. And all of the ones from the players. And thank you so much for all the support throughout December on this series. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And it's given you some Christmas cheer. Because, you know, Christmas is basically cancelled this year. Which is tragic. Yeah. yeah. So, for one last time on my channel, let's roll the transition. And let's jump in to the first picks. Right then, the first players. And we're going to do it back to front. Because we started with a defender. Which is very unusual for Scotland. So, we're going to do the two centre-backs and the goalie first. Would you like to tell me your players, Bates, or do you want me to tell me yours? Tell you, man. Uh, uh, you can tell me yours if you want. Let's go okay. that one first. All right. I did this guy just for Squabble the Showdown, so I thought we may as well get him in in the advent calendar. I'm going to go for Jesus Navas. And okay. then there's a player who I guessed from you basically every single time we do Squabble the Showdown. Ooh, I like and I'm going to use it myself this year. It's going to be Diego Carlos's road road to the final team of the, it's team of the top team of the tournament. 
Team of the Team of the Yeah, Team of the Team, team, team of the Group Stage. Like group, yeah. Group Stage, yeah. We'll chuck him at right centre back. And then I just need a Oh, they get a strong link as well. That is very jazzy. I didn't realise that. Alright, so let me get another strong link to Diego Carlos then on the other side, and it'll make my team very hard to guess for you. I'll have Neto in goal. Ooh. You can have all three of them. Very nice. Very I nice. I was actually looking at Navas a minute ago, and I thought, nah, he's gonna go somewhere else there. So what are you saying? Maldini. Nah, Blanc. Not what, what, I waste, what I waste my icon on here? Nah. So what I'm going to do, Andy, is I'm going to go with the, or aim to get, what I would probably say one of the best defenders in the game. I don't think this is his highest rate card. Uh, Sergio Ramos. Partnered with Rafael Varane. That is sauce. That is sauce. It's a, it's a good, good, but it's also a very popular one as well. I might even go the RTTF, you know. I can't, I can't be uh, can't be on here messing around, can I? You can't. No, right. And then, obviously, to final, finalise uh, off, I was going to go with uh, Courtois. Oh, you're actually winding me up. Oh, I'm actually kind of kicking myself. I'm not going to lie. I, oh, okay, 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 okay. I don't know why I'm sad about guessing one of your players. Oh, I was going to put Courtois. I know everyone else says it. I, gen I swear down I was, but then I put David De Gea, and I don't know why. I think it's just because we were talking about United before. Yeah, you wouldn't get full chem. Yeah, so, so, so on my picks with you, I went with Ramos, Varane, and then I switched up the goalkeeper in case he didn't go that route. And I went with Allison in net, yeah. just in case he went Premier League. And yeah, I did De Gea in case you... I know just went full Spanish. I wasn't really sure. I put Vir Virgil van Dijk because it's you, and I put Sergio Ramos. Get him out of your squad! Oh, that's not a good start, is it? Straight away. And I also drew my two favourite things as Santa Claus. Milk and cookies. Nice. Know, we, could, we, couldn't go, we couldn't go the whole advent calendar having a picture every day and then not have one on the final day. So, What is this 90 rated Ramos? It's an inform, isn't it? Doesn't matter what it is, mate. Because it's no, getting no, replaced. Dude, it's up, I was like, what even is that card? With. Oh, do you haven't got a Spanish goal here at Real Madrid? I'm going to so go not, you... fulls way back. And I'm going to give you Hugo Dioro. Not a goalkeeper. He's a striker. Striker. Bronze? He is bronze. All right. He's and got Spanish, 29 defended. His pace better be good. That's all I'm... Uh... Is his pace good? Uh, no. Ah, this is going to be fantastic. Then. 73. Brand's going to have to make up for it. I've always given people goalies, and Zway gave me Huang Hee Chan at centre back, and it was the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. <laughs> so, oh, he's got he's not got bad pace, and he's seventy three. Yeah, but Huang Hee Chan's got like ninety odd, and he was the worst centre back I've ever used in my life. I don't know what it was. I think his pace made him out of position faster. Yeah, but All right. that's that is it. I'm I'm feeling way more confident. What's your best foot champs finish this this year, mate? <laughs> So this this year I'm a gold one player. In my no, opinion, even you're I've, not. Got, I've got five elite finishes and five gold one finishes. I find this game really hard this year. Interesting. I've got zero yeah. elite finishes and one gold one finish, and that was it. You don't play that much, have you? No, I played the first week. I got gold one. I was like, I played a couple more, where I just kept stopping at like gold three. But other than that, no, I haven't played for champs in months now. Yeah, no, not bad. Not worth the stress. IMO for a stinky little red pick. Oh, look, look at the best red cards that I got this year. We've got, for those of you guys who don't follow the second channel, Florenzi, Voland, Fabianski, Ings, Danny Olmo, Chris Smalling, Carlos Soler, Mario Rui, and Ikram. Absolute stinky for oh, like 100 just, hours of stress. No thank you. Do you want to see mine? My, yeah. I, I reckon mine, mine could match Matt, yours. Um, I got Parejo, Guerrero, Pacheco, Zaha is my best one last week. Lopez, Sergio Roberto, Hakimi Fabianski, Weghorst, Ginter, Tavernier, Alex Texera, but like, nothing stand out. And you finish same every year, five times for that. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a mess. That is outrageous. But we'd do it. it it's pain and streams love pain. <laughs> so we go for Well, it. we've started off with some pain, so hopefully the viewers are going to love that. Let's move on. And we've only got a right back, so let's jump in and do that. one pick then so what a perfect time 
for me to ask you something that I'm very, very... I've seen on your Twitter, basically, and I'm very curious about. Yeah. You've got a signed Messi... Tops Panini? What are they? So it's a Tops... I don't know what they're called specifically, but it's, like, it's a Tops card. They're like seen as trading cards. Um, and it was a card which was like... The reason why I like that card is because Tops released a rated... Uh, sorry, a Lost Rookie. So it's called Lost Rookies. So these are players who like are the best players in the world, like uh, Ronaldo, Messi, and they just released a Del Piero as well. But they never had, never used to have these cards back when they were rookies, so they're re releasing them new oh, as, a, as okay. a rookie version of the card, which is awesome. Interesting, because the, the <laughs> I don't know if it's always been big and just not in our like little bubble, but yeah. the FIFA community has gone absolutely wild for Pokemon cards and these tops cards now, hasn't it? And people are, like buying boxes of them for like five hundred quid, and people buy into them and stuff like that. Yeah, to do two breaks. I, th I think it, like in America, I think trading cards are huge when it comes to baseball, um, basketball, and I think American football as well. And it started creeping over to here. Obviously, we, we the reason I found it is because Castro was doing crazy box openings. Like, bloody hell, this is quite good. Because not mm -hmm. only, like, you know, a FIFA, you open a pack, it's gone within a year. Like, you forget about it, it's good, finished, you don't ever get to use this card. But these cards are here for you, and you, they could be seen as an investment, like you buy a card for cheap. In a couple of years, it could be worth thousands, you know? I seen JME's invest, invested in loads of Charizards, didn't he? Did Who you did? see that? JME. No, but he's, he's clever doing that, because the Pokemon prices are going. I, I've actually got some Pokemon. I've actually got the Charizard here, actually. Um, wait, let, let me pull it up and show you guys. Look, I got a first, sorry, a base set Charizard. Uh, I actually, I actually, one of the things I did buy this this summer actually was uh, a base set. I bought a, a nice base set in good condition as well. The entire base set, like the originals. Yeah, entire base. Have you, set. Oh, have you got it in that blue binder, the original binder? No, no. Someone did give me the binder. He gave me the binder with it, but I was like, nah, I don't like it. Nah, I'd rather keep no, it. No, that's what I had when I was a kid. That was so legit. Yeah, yeah. I got Team Rocket, Fossil, Jungle, and uh, base set. That's what me stopped. Nothing else to spend your money on in lockdown, is there? Just buy crap loads of Pokemon cards? Yeah, yeah, may as well. Yeah, and, and it's something which I can pass down to, to my little lad as well in the future, which is one of the reasons why I've done it. So it's like, hey, quite nice. Nice, very nice, yeah. Aye. I've got myself you, you got no interest? In I've got a Mew. Ooh, what, a Mew card? Yeah, so Atani was opening them on his stream. Oh, I was in there, I was in there. Yeah, and I gifted them five subs. Yeah. And I got the pack. And it's a holographic Mew. It's pretty cool. I don't yeah, think it's, it's nice actually one. worth very much. I think it's worth like a tenner. And it cost me 25 quid's worth of subs to get. But it's the sentimental value, you know. It is. It's, yeah, Pat pulled off a tenner. What more could you ask for? Exactly. Mm. Should have got him to sign it. Then it'd be worth like a fiver instead. Yeah, we completely <laughs> killed it. <laughs> <laughs> what right back would you like, mate? I would like um, to go with Mukiel. If I beat you on Scob of the Shadow before Bates. Uh... <laughs> okay, I don't think I have. Wow. This it's getting tough. ever more likely the more picks that we do. Because you can take that Mukieri and you can get him the hell. See, we, we need to do this later on in the year when there's loads more alternatives. Because I'm like going for the God Squad. And at the moment I've been left with a mixture of bronze <laughs> and God. I've got three good players in the team, but yeah, two of them are done so. Right, Mukiel is not wanting to come in and won't be coming in. You can have. I'll be nice. I'll try and be nice anyway, and I'll try and get you. In fact, let me see if there's one from the Bundesliga. See if there's an absolute Bundesliga stinker. There's not. Oh, you can go French, Andy. It's fine. Just French. Just French is yeah. okay. Oh, you can go La Liga. It's just happy, happy as loving. I'm trying to do this on the on the on the uh, on the just on the fly. It. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to do it a different way this time around. I'll give you our neighbour. That sounds like a name. How do you spell his name? Double A N E B A. I'm pretty sure that's not actually how you pronounce it. But he's Double got 58 a. pace and he's a 61 rated right back who's French. So get him in your squad. Double A N E. Oh yeah, 61. Damn, how do I not have these players in the club? Well, and at least he's he's right surely back. you don't do the bronze. Oh, it's, back it's, like, it's, like, it's like the B Tech Kenny Lala, that is. <laughs> yeah, literally, yeah. <laughs> you've, like, you've lost this game, Andy. I'm looking. <laughs> right, my team. Low back. high work rates as well. Ooh, baby, he loves to stay back and defend. Yeah. As Could you can see by his 62 defender. Yeah. Right, who would you like, Andy? I am going to go for a Brazilian man. And it's going to be 
It's going to be Road to the Final, Bruno Perez, who has now been upgraded and looks even more unbelievably good. Yeah, he looks very good, doesn't he? I like the look of him. You can have him as well. I didn't yes. see him. He was a really good player, but then I would have been limited, so I didn't bother. Who did you put? I put Kyle Walker, because you could have gone anyway, like you linked off with Diego, aren't you? So yep. I was like, yeah, I'll go. Uh, I'll go there, right? So at the moment, this is not looking good. Which ones are we picking now? So you've got four, four, two, haven't you? And I've got yeah. four, triple two, which is basically the same thing. At some point, we are going to have to do four players at once, basically. Yeah. Do you want to do the four players now and do my two cams and two CDMs and your centre mids, left mid, right mid, or do you want to do just the centre mids and the CDMs and then we'll do the striker, striker, cam, cam, left mid, right mid? Um, I'll go. Uh, yeah, we'll do all all the way across if you want. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. We're gonna do four now. Yeah, we'll okay. do a home midfield. I like. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Into the midfield we go then, Bates. And we missed it yesterday. So you're going to make up for it. I've got a list that are, is apparently the worst Christmas cracker jokes in the whole of the UK. Are you ready for this? I am ready. What you get if you lie under a cow? Like, how bad are we talking? Bad? Oh, real bad. Real. This one? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I don't know, Andy. What do you get when you lie on the a cow? A pat on the head. See, I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking along them. Yeah, it's, it's quite, I like that joke. That's the type of joke I get. That's I not can, too bad. Uh, That's not too bad. With, yeah. Let's see what else they've got. Why is Parliament like ancient Bethlehem? I don't know. Th these are good. I think these are good. What were you saying for this one? It takes a miracle to find three wise men there. Yeah. This isn't the worst. I have seen well worse. So I've been scrolling well, through these websites. Well, this time last year, that joke might have been a bit meh. But because of what's going on this year, then yeah, you can... You can true. True. You can go with it. Why did nobody buy Rudolph and Blitzen on eBay? I don't know. They were too dear. Oh. That, that one's probably the worst, I think. This one's pretty bad. What did the stamp say to the envelope? Stick with me and we'll be going places. Oh, my dear. How's that <laughs> Christmas related? <laughs> Why are Christmas trees so bad at knitting? No idea. They always drop their needles. Okay. They're getting slowly worse. Shall we just put yeah, some that, players that, in? Yeah, yeah. That, that, that one would have been all right if we didn't have artificial Christmas trees now. True. Which are much, much better for the environment, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, would you like to tell me your players or do you want to hear mine? Um, I went first last time. Did you? So okay. Yeah, even though I was on the cow walker, but I'll let you go with uh, with your midfield now. Sure. I am anticipating something very, very, very big from you. So, in with that in mind, basically, I'm going to try and get myself a very good midfield myself. So I'm going to go for Inform Aturo Vidal. Yep. Yeah. He's actually got a one to watch as well, which has got a very jazzy dynamic image. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's the same cards. We'll pop him in. And strong link to him with... Rule Breakers, nine golden. Yeah. A very good card. Swapped his defending for his pace, which is just what we need when he's playing center attack in mid. And on the other side, I'm going to go for one of my favorite, most underrated players on this game, which is David Silva and his nice. record breaker card. Yeah. Whacked him up to 82 pace, all the way up from 66. And then at CDM, I'm going to get myself a Spanish CDM from La Liga to sort of square that side of the pitch off. And I'm going to make it a centre mid because they're all absolutely terrible. I'm going to go for... I'm going to go big. We need a really good team if we're going to beat you, even though we've guessed some of your defenders. Marcos Lorente. Yeah, good pick. <laughs> so I went yet again, Andy. And for some reason, I always side with, with Everton. I went with Allen. Yeah. Balassi. I was so close to using the Balassi again, but I didn't want to tep, tep, tempt fate twice after keeping him in the last episode. Yeah. Firmino for the links okay. as well. And then uh, randomly threw in a canter there. So I went for the Premier League midfield. Very And nice. completely failed, which is superb. So. Things you love to see. Okay, if I can guess one of these, it will be a Christmas miracle, but... It will be mental. It actually, it is quite easy to a point, but we'll see anyway. We'll start left-hand side. Um, I am wanting to go with 
the oh what's his name um player of the month and it was where is it not young from, son. no 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 from Ansu La Liga. Ansu Fati. that's a ridiculously good card yeah so I wanted to go with uh, with Ansu Fati. And then next to him, to get the uh, the strong link as well, is actually a player who you've just uh, used, Marcus Lorente. Nice. So that was who I wanted him in the field. And then, going for something a little bit different, Di Maria on the right. Okay. With, uh, uh, who's, uh, what's his name? CDM. Marquinhos in the middle. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. If I, if I can have that, Andy, I'll stick with that. You can have it, mate. Oh, a full midfield. Nice. Full midfield. I put Lala to pair up with BTEC Lala. Still not done Lala, so you're lucky. I put Podence. Actually, I'm lucky. Yeah, Podence was the obvious choice. Um, but I thought I'm not going to go Premier League and try and keep it away for this one. Fair. And then I put Vieira and Hullet. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't I'll, think I've, I've, I've got one of them. Which one? Uh, Hullet. Vieira, I've not gotten here. I, was, I wasn't I was sure whether I should put Hullet because he's quite a lot. Of, like he's an outrageous amount of coins to put on the line. So it did seem yeah. like a bit of a silly guess. But I don't think I would have put Marquinhos anyway. So, and I definitely would have put Vieira. So it is what it is. Nice. We both get a full midfield. Full midfield to piece. It's basically all going to come down to these forwards, then if I can manage to get a full squad and play against your two defenders, we might be in for our first squad of the showdown win against you. And you've got some serious stuff on the line as well. Yeah, no, it's looking a mess. Let's get in to the final picks. Right then, Bates, in to the final positions where we're both in a bit of a sticky situation. Yeah, we ice it. Well, it's the bronzes which didn't help. I had, a, I had a route in my head. Unfortunately, didn't take it. And then we ended up with a silver and a bronze in the back. So we tried to change midfield. Di Maria is there with Marquinhos. That's the sticky situation. Marquinhos Obviously, needs fast. another strong link. Yeah, he does, which, which is the uh, difficult, difficult side. So there is a brand new player um, as of this week. And it is the striker. Um, I don't think I've got him. I've got to bite him. The, like the obvious one, Andy. There's, there's one obvious one, and it's a player which I got would cause a lot of trouble, and it is Mbappe. But I'm not going with him. I'm going with the Icardi. Oh, you're you. not. Oh, babe. Oh, I am. I am. I literally have. You oh. you put me in the mud, so I've got to go with the Icardi. Road so to the kill, final there's only two three. choices. Yeah, road to the final 87. I think he is, isn't it? Is he 87? Okay. I put Mbappe. Oh, and my other striker. Is uh, I can go anywhere with this one. Uh, my other striker that I want is another person that I picked up this weekend, and he uh, is 96 rated. He does have a bald head, and he is El Ooh. Ronaldo. 96 Ronaldo. You're using a prime I'm one. Using Ronaldo. I'm using 96 Ronaldo. You're not. No, yeah, yeah, I am. You're not. I, no, I'm not. No. I'm Please not. don't. Please don't. Where did you get him? Please don't. No, I didn't. I put Moise Keane and Mbappe. Moise Keane. Oh, Moise Keane. We were talking about Silver Stars earlier as well. Oh, this has gone so badly. I can't oh. be playing against Tottenham Ronaldo. Well, we got to bring him in. I, I forgot about Moise Keane. I would have gone him over Ricardi. But I forgot about Moise Keane. We were talking about Silver Stars at the start of the video as well. We were. Ah, well. I wrote in brackets Rivaldo because I was looking at Rivaldo for mine because he's a centre forward on one of his cards. I didn't expect you to go for R9 Ronaldo. You're mental. Yeah, but then the problem is he's up on the discard. Well, now you have potentially to discard R9. How much does yeah. he cost? Isn't he like 15 mil? 15 million extinct. You're off your rocker, mate. Wait, and you've got yeah. 26 million liquid coins. 21 million after this uh, school builder showed them. <laughs> He's literally not even on the market. No, he's, 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 he's extinct. I got him yesterday morning. I got to play a few games with him yesterday. He is good. I just hope that that um, that Icardi next to him doesn't let him down. Right, Andy, your attackers. I've You're got in a also bit of a the same situation. problem. I yeah. don't know what, I, what I've done this for. It's very stupid. Mavidal needs a strong link. 
Yep. There's only two strikers on the game, we get it. So realistically, you could have put both of them down. Yeah. It's just whether you've clicked onto it or not, I guess, and how much attention you were paying, because I've not been paying very much attention in this video. There's Inigo Martinez and Lukaku. And that's it. The others are silver or bronze. I'm going to take a leaf out of Zwei's book and go Lukaku. Okay. I mean, if I was you, I'd have written both of them down. So at this point, I'm just a moron. Let me let me double, double, double check that there isn't a centre forward from Inter. There's not. Good. Okay, well, see you, Lukaku. And then on the other side, to make up for it, I'm going to try out a man who've wanted to try for a very long time. It's not quite Ronaldo, but it is Fernando Torres. That's, yeah, that's a good, good, uh, a good choice. So I was actually thinking you were going to go with... Um, because you've obviously, I've been looking at your links and you did need obviously a strong link. So I have got your Inter Milan striker. Unfortunately, I actually wrote both of them down. Pretty yeah, easy to I mean, it was next um, level stupid. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. If but I... then I thought you were going to potentially go with Gaia or uh, Inaki Williams. They were, they, they, I was like, do I take out Martinez and put in? But I didn't want to risk it in case you got, in case I got none. So at least you've got a little bit of damage there. And I get one player out of your team. Oh, Bateson. Right, what do you need, Andy? An Inter Milan Inter player, Milan please. goalkeeper. Ooh, yeah, Letoura Martinez, if you wouldn't mind. No, you're all right. Uh, it's, not, it's not Christmas yet, mate. <laughs> right, where's Serie Serie goalkeeper. Inter Milan. Actually, can, can I, does it have to be Inter Milan? Yeah, I need a strong link to Vidal. Or could it be a Chilean goalkeeper? It could be Chile, so long as it's Chile from the Serie A. Yeah, let's see if it was a Chilean Serie A. I don't think there is a search this. There's not, nah. Nah, unless I was going to give you an outfield player, but I'm not. Um, right, Inter Milan goalkeeper. Who is it? There better be a bronze. Nah, surely that's not it. Oh, hello. Pedelli. 73, it's a silver. Okay. I mean, that's basically as good as Arna Ronaldo. Well, time will tell with that one. And they're so stupid of me. Why did I not go for Lucas Lieva and Luis Alberto or something like that? And then he would have got a Brazilian link. Or even, I could have gone Mertens and Fabian, and that would have got a Spanish link to Lorente, and I would have needed a strong. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. We just want to, like, if um, Alexis Sanchez had a central card or, a chi like, a Chile player, which he's had in the past, that might have opened it up. But that was very, very stupid. <clears throat> Too busy being dressed as Santa Claus. My mind's just focused on delivering the presents now, to be honest with you. It's the last yeah. couple of showdown. We're playing against R9. I've got Padelli up front, but you do have a very stinky defence. I do. A very stinky defence. I feel like it'd be the ultimate Christmas present if I discarded an R9 Ronaldo, to be honest with you. Couldn't think of it better. Yeah. This is going to be painful. Let's get into the game. Right. Here we go. Someone in my chat has worked out that if I win 11 nil, you have to discard 17.5 million. However, 15 million, <laughs> that is just one player, so I could... Get a one-all draw and Jack 54, yeah, and make you discard 15. Oh, God. Okay. He's just okay. intercept the ball immediately. Oh, please, no. No, 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 no. Come on, Diego Carlos. You're meant to be good. Well done. Ooh. All this right, could be yeah. an interesting one, actually, because the connection's a little bit funky as well, isn't it? Yeah. You've got farmer internet. Yep. Go on, Torres. Uh, oh, how's oh, he look? How's you go? got a head on that. No way. I thought that was a guaranteed goal. Torres doesn't have four-star skills, does he? Uh, no. No, don't let him pass it to Ronaldo. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, Lorente. Oh, no. Come on, Lorente. Yes, Man, made that a, a top. Should have went Moise Keane. Oh, <gasps> oh, my days. I, I was hammering that thinking. I don't know why I hammered that, really. Oh, my God. I tried to pass it around him. This isn't good. My problem is Torres has got to do it all himself. Or has he? Oh, come on, David Silva. Oh my days, I am terrified when you get near my... Uh... Oh no, where's he come from? 
Ben Riff! Dive. Yes! That wasn't even me! Beat well, it, that either. was like you. I, I definitely, that was the computer which did that as well. I was controlling for, oh, he's Wait, he it. got the ball. That's an outrageous decision, but I'm going to take Ridiculous. it. Ridiculous. Nice. Torres with his bleach blonde hair. I know, Cracking. baby Torres. Bang. Oh my, that's two times I've opened up that corner. Neto is having the game of his life. He can't. Oh, oh dear. Yes. There's three of them on top of each other there. That's a celebration, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> For those who ask, you will get comments. It's called the action run. Look at the three of them trying to win it. And he's missed it on the line as well. Oh, oh my God. What a goal that is. One all. Yeah. Have we... It's been cagey, to be honest. You've actually had a couple of very clear opportunities where Neto has made some very big saves. Yeah. And the one goal I got is not one I would expect either. It's been interesting. It's been very interesting. At this point, I would be a lot more scared to be you than me, obviously. So my I'm most terrified. expensive player is like terrified. my most expensive player is like three, four hundred k. Oh no, Torres yeah, is half a mil. Torres is half a mil. But probably should have picked players thinking it was the end of the game, where you know you're not really that attached to them. This is stress. Oh, he's gone. Go on, go on, Nando. Good saw, oh, good goal, near post as well. Human Sun style there. Thought you were going to go far. You went near. This Torres seems okay. He is struggling up front by himself because he doesn't have four star skills. And every time I get the ball, I do just have to try and run past every single defender you've got with yeah. just him. I, haven't, I had no idea where Ram was there either. The one time he was nowhere near Torres. Oh my. Oh, goodness. you're winding me up, boys. Clear it. Bang. Oh, that is outrageous. Oh my God. That is outrageous. The tackle you three times. Yeah, this is this is the, guys. If you got, you're gonna see highlights, but this connection is causing me and Andy to have a horrific game in it. Is that a discard a piece? It's a discard a piece. These Ooh. are the most dangerous. Ooh. Well, that R nine is outrageous. Yeah. That game was very very sweaty. That was bad. Oh, that was a, that was a horrific game on it, and I'm glad that you didn't find him out. That is four star, four star, and I am lucky that Ronaldo was on the team. Even though I thought I would have lost by a lot more, I think if we didn't have Ronaldo. It took me far too long to realise that Torres had four star skills. I must have been not pressing L1 properly the first time I tried to do a lacroquetta. I don't even know. And then I just assumed he was three star. But the fact that he was being marked by Varane and Padelli was the one that was on your stinky centre-back, the striker, is what's cost me there. Otherwise, Torres could have run riot. Yeah. I have got a lot of expensive players in this team. You have. If we hit this R9, it will be the biggest thing ever hit in Scrubble the Showdown history. This will go down in legend. <laughs> oh. Let me know when you've mixed your team around, mate. Right, I've mixed my team around. Would you like gonna to throw it out there, guys? Right, if I hit or Andy hits any of the players, right, these players, Ansu Fati, Marquinhos, and Adama Traore, for the cost of the SBC, I will buy a player and discard it that way, guys. Just because I want these players for future use for videos, you know. But the rest of them are up for grabs. Yeah, I feel like that's fair enough because you got R9 in, and I don't want to make Bateson not be able to make his best of PSG team because of my squad with the shutdown. I mean, he probably shouldn't have put it in the team if that's what he wanted. But, you know, we'll let him off because he's got our nine yeah. on the line. Yeah. So, Bateson, you can go first, mate, and we'll leave the people in, the, in suspense. What position should I discard? Uh, what format? You in a four triple? Yeah, four triple well, two. Yeah. Uh, I will go with... Right cam. Oh, that's nine goal, and actually, that's quite a big one for me. That is how much? How much is it? Four hundred k. Who who was the most expensive I could have hit then? Torres is five hundred k, so <sighs> almost, almost. Bateson for fifteen million coins. Right centre mid. Right. Oh, right. It's not Ronaldo. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. <laughs> who is it? Right. It is Ansu Fati. Ooh. So, Ooh. we do, uh, what I'll do is I'll see how much... Let me see how much his SBC is. 
You can he see is. that foot being carried now. He is. 200k? I'm going to say, I'm going to be outrageous here and put you on the spot. Yeah. We'll both discard nine golem, and you have to pay double to keep the card. What about? Because if you didn't want to discard them, you shouldn't have put them in your squad. Exactly. What about Di Maria? I'll, I'll even go that far. He's 300k. Yeah, okay, because right. I am not. I don't doing... actually really care. If I'm being honest with you, I just know people are going to cry in the comment section. Hi right, guys. I pay... I personally don't care. But hey, Ronaldo was on the line, guys. You would have seen my face get a little very red <laughs> if that Ronaldo <laughs> overran went. Um, so 200k isn't that much, is it? Yeah. Really? At least he didn't do what Nepo did a few Christmases ago, where he just took the players out the squad. <laughs> that was funny. What, and hit them? Yeah, just took them oh, no. on the bench. And I picked a position, he was like, there's no one there. I was like, what do you mean there's no one there? He said, like, oh, I took them out, I didn't want to discard them. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that, I don't, I'd always pay you. Um, I just, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a weird one when it comes to foot. Nah, I, like I appreciate to, that um... you do the best of PSG and the best of Barcelona and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah. People yeah, will so say it's... you shouldn't have put them in the squad if you didn't want to discard them, which is kind of true. But yeah, I can't but make one, you one of the things. Make... I, one of the things I do want to do when I do when I get the chance to do like these videos with you guys is I want to be able to like have and use the best players, and so you guys can see it as well. And I know a lot of people when they see me come on, they're happy that um, you get Mental to see these cards crazy teams in it. Yeah, I personally don't mind, but as long as you discard the value of it and a little bit more as a tax, I guess. So there you go. There goes my nine gold into a gold upgrade SBC. If you want a min list. Quick oh, we're minlist in a way. Whatever you want to do, mate. Whatever you want to I do. I was going to put him into an SBC. Yeah, oh, yeah, put him in an SBC or minlist. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Pat, Pat, hey. He gets me Kenny Lala on the other side, I suppose. <laughs> I did one of these the other day and packed Rashford out of it. So that was pretty good. That was 150k out of a two player pack. But, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the Squad Builder Showdown Advent Calendar for FIFA 21 on my channel. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We ended with a bang with an on oh, Ronaldo in the squad against Baton. But there is one more episode of the 2020 Advent Calendar, which is going to be on Baton's channel tomorrow on Christmas Eve. Thank you so much for all the support. It has been an absolute blast once again. And we will, of course, be back for more videos after Christmas, as well as another Squabble Show on Advent Calendar next year. But that is a very long way away. In the meantime, go and check out all the other ones in the playlist. Go and check out Baton's channel tomorrow and come back on... Boxing Day or just after Boxing Day or whatever. And we'll be back to normal with some normal vids. Peyton, has your Di Maria gone? He's gone. Kenny Lala's on the screen doing the penguin dance. What more could we ask for? Beautiful. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Have a Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.